Clinton may have the general election in mind, but it didn't stop her from making a swing for rural white middle class votes in West Virginia. But West Virginia is shaping up to be a terrible state for Clinton. Polling shows Bernie Sanders has a sizable lead there, meaning Tuesday will likely extend the nominating contest that Clinton had hoped to wrap up by now. Clinton's chances in the state were dashed by comments back in March about cleaning out coal miners. This past week, she tried to clear the air with some of those miners. These are the kind of people that you're affecting. This is this is my family. While my hope is in God, that's my future. I want my family to know that they have a future here in this state because this is a great state. Clinton responded saying she's really worried about the huge hit Appalachia Coal has taken because it's decimating communities. In March, she said she's the only candidate with plans to use clean, renewable energy and put coal miners and coal companies out of business. She later said her comments were taken out of context. Is Clinton the best candidate for coal country? That's our topic this half hour. We want to hear from you on our Fox 26 Facebook page. You can also weigh in on Twitter. Use the hashtag fox 26 4 life. Joining us live in the newsroom is our panel again, led by our senior legal analyst Chris Tritico, Democratic media consultant Mustafa Tamiz, and Republican strategist and public policy analyst Jackie Bally. All right, we've got two big primaries coming up in West Virginia on, on Tuesday. Who's better for the for the state, Trump or, or Clinton? Well, you know, this is uh, Hillary Clinton knew she wasn't going to win West Virginia after she made that comment about uh, the coal, putting the coal miners out of business. That wasn't going to go away easy, and she isn't going to be able to repair that damage here in the and before this primary. And so, I, I don't think she's planning on winning that state. I don't think she ever planned on winning that state after she made that comment. Uh, the the issue for her is not. Can she repair the damage that she did when she made that comment? It's does she have a comprehensive plan for energy, renewable energy, and a comprehensive economic plan in spite of what she said about, about the coal mining industry? You know, this is kind of Mustafa is kind of her New York values moment. You know, you make a statement in another state and then you got to go back. And deal with it. Deal with it later on in, in that state, and and she's got. To, she's going to have to deal with that. She knows she's not going to recover there. Well, you have to ask. You know, who's better for coal miners? Or who's better for this country? And there's 83,000 coal miners across the United States in a country of 320 million people. And in West Virginia, there's 20,000 coal miners. So, if you try to pander to them, you can say some great things about I love coal industry. We should dig more coal. But is that the right path for our nation? Shouldn't we be going towards clean energy and towards energy independence rather than relying on things that pollute our environment um, and really uh, dead-end jobs that lead people nowhere. Well, a comprehensive uh, energy plan moving forward is going to have to necessarily move away from coal eventually, and I think that's what Hillary Clinton was trying to say, not very artfully. So what is the answer? Who would be better, Trump or Clinton, in a comprehensive uh, energy plan? Well, clearly West Virginia feels that Trump would be. <laughs> no question about and, that. And uh, the Coal Miners Association <laughs> right. just endorsed him. Right. And she said her comments were taken out of context, but they weren't. No. I mean, she was quite clear that she wants to get rid of this industry. Now, people who are suffering from economic hardships don't want to hear what she had to say, don't want to hear what he has to say. They want to know that they still have a job. And the fact that someone running for president is the top person in a party, and she's saying, I'm going to do away with a certain industry, that really hits home for a lot of people. Mustafa blows off the number saying it's just 83,000 people. But those 83,000 people have families. And uh, she hit home to those people. And of course, they're going to elect um, Bernie Sanders in that primary. And we got to go to Apple, but hasn't that happened throughout our history as we move forward and in, in industry changes? Well, I, I mean, I, I don't understand this. I mean, do we want more people as coal miners, which, you know, you, you destroy your insides, it's cancer causing stuff. And so I, I don't, like, don't we want politicians to tell the truth and, and uh, create a path forward that allows our nation to be energy independent? Or do we want them to pander to people just to get a vote? All right. Let me go to Sally. She's monitoring our social media. Okay, let's head over to Twitter and see some of the tweets uh, that we have out there in the Twitter sphere. Uh, this person says, make no mistake, Hillary Clinton will destroy the American coal industry and good American jobs with it. Hashtag war on coal.
coal. Uh, this person says, I have a hunch that we're going to put a lot of coal miners out of work. May backfire on Clinton. Just a feeling people like having jobs. And then at Green for You says Trump knows nothing about the coal industry except how to pander to miners. Well, that just kind of... That just kind of said exactly what happened right here. Mm -hmm. Yep, <laughs> differences of opinions, right. for and, sure. And, and, but but it is, it's actually symbolic of everything that I think that I was just saying here. You know, Jackie, if you think back on it, the people who were making uh, uh, buggies for horse-drawn carriages were probably upset when Henry Ford made the Model T, sure. and, and and they were out of business. But it isn't it just a progression as, as, the, as the country moves forward? Yes, but uh, as we've seen through Clinton's energy policy, Obama's energy policy, and now the energy policy she's outlining, it doesn't really get rid of the coal industry. Right. There are other ways to have cleaner fuels, other ways to include uh, improve our environment, but it's not deleting or getting rid of these people and how they provide for their families. And there are a lot of trade jobs. I mean, I came to this country because my dad was a welder. And a lot of people will say, look, there are a lot of dangerous situations with him being a welder, but that's how he provided for his family and mm -hmm. he made an honest living. There are a lot of people who make an honest living with certain jobs, that does not mean that we're pandering to them. That means we're happy they have an opportunity to make a living. Final thought. Uh, we've moved, for the last two decades, we've moved away from coal into natural gas and we're building more natural gases. And, and so th there will be a transition point, but it, I think it's ludicrous to lie to people and tell them that you're going to protect their jobs when we really should be moving to cl uh, clean, clean energy. All right. We'll leave it right there. And uh, yeah, I don't think Hillary Clinton, uh, Sally, has any desire or any idea that she... Let me try that again. I don't think Hillary Clinton thinks she's going to win that primary at all. Uh, she's looking past West Virginia to mm -hmm. close the deal uh, for, the, uh, for the nomination. All right. Thanks so much, guys. We're going to talk a little bit more about the GOP coming up at the end of the 7 o'clock hour, so stay tuned for that. Right now, we're going to...